Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little jacket for little girls between four and five years old. You can also make it smaller or bigger from two years old up to eight years old. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave you some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Also, at the end of the tutorial, I leave you the finished measurements. And remember, my channel is bilingual. All of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish. Just click the little lamp down here next to my channel name, and it'll take you to my main channel page. There you will find all of my tutorials in English and in Spanish. Okay, so let's get started, and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this 5mm crochet hook, and today I'm using this Erin Weight yarn. You can also use any medium number 4 yarn if you're in the US. The brand of yarn that I'm using, it's this one here. It's called Style Craft Special Erin. This is in the color Lipstick 1246. Now, to begin, I have 58 chains. This chain here is measuring about 37 centimeters, which is about 14.5 inches. Now, the stitch multiple to this base chain is multiples of four plus two. Now, if your chain does not measure exactly like mine, then it's okay, just continue. If you're off by a couple centimeters or maybe a half an inch, it's okay. Just continue with the same count. So here, like I said, I have 58 chains into the third chain from the hook, one, two, three. I'm going to make a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into that third chain, grab a loop and close. Into the next chain, we're going to do the same thing, one half double crochet, half double crochet into the next, and so on. This is all I'm going to do for this first row, just half double crochets. Now continue like this, and I'll meet you at the end of this first row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 56 half double crochets. Now for the second row, chain two and turn. These two chains never count as a stitch. Now, in this second row, what we're going to do is we're going to make three double crochets. One, two, three, and into this next stitch, two double crochets. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first half double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, into the next, that's two, and into the next, that's three. Now, into this fourth half double crochet, you're going to make two double crochets. One and two. This is all we're going to do for this second row. You're going to repeat and make three double crochets and into the next two double crochets all the way to the end. At the end of this second row, you're going to have 69 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of 69 double crochets for this row. Here at the end, we're going to finish with four double crochets. We're not going to increase into this last stitch. So you should have 69 double crochets for the second row. Now for the third row, we're going to chain two and turn. The two chains never count as a stitch. Now in this third row, we're going to make four double crochets. One, two, three, four, and into the next two double crochets. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet into the next. That's your second. That's three. And this is your fourth. Now into this fifth double crochet, you're going to make two double crochets. Now this is how you're going to continue for this third row. You're going to make four double crochets, one, two, three, four, and into the next two double crochets. At the end of this third row, you're going to have 82 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this third row. I have a total of 82 double crochets. Now for the fourth row, you're going to chain two and turn. The two chains never count as a stitch. Now in this row, we're going to make five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and into the next two double crochets. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, into the next two, three, four, five, and into the next two double crochets, one and two. This is how you're going to continue. For this fourth row, you're going to make and repeat five double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and into the next two double crochets. At the end of this fourth row, you're going to have 95 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this row. 
I'm here at the end of this fourth row. I have a total of 95 double crochets. Now for the fifth row, chain two and turn. Remember the two chains never count as a stitch. Now in this fifth row, we're going to make six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and into the next two double crochets. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and into the next two double crochets. Now this is all you're going to do for this fifth row. You're going to make six double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and into the next two double crochets. At the end of this fifth row, you're going to have 108 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this fifth row. I have a total of 108 double crochets. Now for the sixth row, we're going to begin using our pattern stitch. So chain three and turn. Now into this first double crochet right here, we're going to make two double crochets. So just insert your hook right there on top of the first double crochet and make two double crochets. Now skip one, two, and into the third double crochet, make a single crochet, two chains, and into this same stitch, three double crochets. One, two, three. Skip two double crochets, one, two, and into the third, make a single crochet, two chains, and into this same stitch, make three double crochets. Again, skip one, two, and into the third double crochet, make a single crochet, two chains, three double crochets. This is all I'm going to do for this sixth row. Now, at the end of this sixth row, you're going to have 36 of these shells. From here on, I'm going to refer them as shells. So I'll meet you at the end of this sixth row. I'm here at the end of this sixth row and I have a total of 36 shell stitches. Now for the seventh row, chain one and turn on top of this first single crochet that we did here, or the last one that we did on the previous row, make a single crochet, chain one, then go to the first shell and find your second double crochet, one, two, and work a front post single crochet. Now chain two, and inside this chain two space, make three double crochets. Jump to the next shell and into the second double crochet. Right here, work a front post, single crochet, two chains, and inside the two chain space, make three double crochets. One, two, three. Jump to the next shell and into the second double crochet, one, two, work a front post single crochet, two chains, and inside the two chain space make three double crochets. This is all I'm going to do for this seventh row. So continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this seventh row. I have a total of 35 shells for this row. In the previous row, row six, we had 36, but in this row, we have 35. Now, to finish, we're going to pinch the second chain here at the end, and we're going to finish by making a single crochet. Now, for the eighth row, chain one, turn, and on top of this first single crochet, make a single crochet, chain one, now into the second double crochet of this first shell, you're going to work a front post single crochet, make two chains, and inside the chain two space, make three double crochets. So here's your first shell for the eighth row. Now, same thing for the next row. Into the second double crochet of the next shell, make a front post single crochet, two chains, and then inside the two chain space, make three double crochets. This is all we're going to do for this eighth row. At the end of this eighth row, you should have 35 shell stitches. Continue and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this eighth row. I have a total of 35 shells. Now to finish, we're going to go here to the end 
and on top of this single crochet we're going to make a single crochet now for the ninth row we're going to chain one and turn on top of this first single crochet make a single crochet now I'm going to change this part here a little bit I'm not going to chain one anymore but rather I'm just going to go straight to the first shell and into the second double crochet work my front pull single crochet now chain two and into this chain two space make three double crochets jump to the next shell and into the second double crochet work a front pull single crochet two chains and then three double crochets this is how I'm going to continue for this ninth row at the end of the ninth row we're also going to have 35 shells I'll meet you at the end of this row I'm here at the end of this ninth row I have a total of 35 shell stitches now to finish this row and all the rows to follow up to row 12 we're just going to go on top of this first single crochet and make a single crochet and this is how I finish the ninth row now for rows 10 to 12 you're going to chain one and turn here we're not going to chain one anymore just like we did for the ninth row so we're just going to go directly into the second double crochet of your first shell and work a front post single crochet two chains inside each one of the chain two space you're going to make three double crochets jump to the next shell and into the second double crochet work a front post single crochet two chains and then again inside the chain two space make three double crochets this is all we're going to do for this 10th row 11th and 12th so continue repeat this row exactly in the same way and i'll meet you at the end of the 12th row okay i finished this 12th row i have a total of 35 shell stitches and it's measuring from the top of the neckline down to the last row it's measuring about 15.5 centimeters which is about six inches now the yoke is done so what we're going to do in the next row is we're going to divide the sleeves and i'm going to uh, start counting rows again so here for the front panels each one we're going to make five shells one two three four five i'm going to skip eight shells for each one of the sleeves and then for the back side i'm going to make nine shells so let me show you so this is going to be row one now here at the end i finish by making my last single crochet so chain one and turn so here we're going to go into the first shell and into the middle double crochet which is the second work a front post single crochet two chains inside the two chain space make three double crochets and this is what i'm going to do into each one of the next four so that i have a total of five so continue and i'll meet you right about here to show you how we're going to divide the sleeve i finished making these five shell stitches one two three four five now instead of going into the next fan and making our front post single crochet into the second what i'm going to do is into this single crochet right here i'm going to make a single crochet now chain six that's three four five six we're going to skip eight shells one two three four five six seven eight and into the ninth shell which is this one into the second double crochet work a front post single crochet now chain two and into the chain two space make three double crochets now from here you're going to continue and work one shell on each one of these so that you have a total of nine and this is what it looks like once we divide the sleeve now if you want to add more chains here you can i think that for the size that i'm making this for six chains is more than enough so continue and work these nine shells and i'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next okay i finished making these nine shell stitches for the back side we have one two three four five six seven eight nine now this one here we're going to make a single crochet into this single crochet not the next shell so here make a single crochet chain six again that's three four five six 
we're going to skip eight shells one two three four five six seven eight and into the ninth shell which is this one here into the second double crochet work a front post single crochet and two chains and into this chain two space make three double crochets now here you're just going to continue and finish these last four so i'll meet you here at the end of this first row okay finish making these last five shells one two three four five now to finish we're going to make a single crochet here at the end now for this first row you should have a total of 19 shells we have five and five for each one of the front panels and then we have nine for the back side now for the second row chain one and turn and on top of this single crochet make a single crochet into the second double crochet of this first shell make a front post single crochet two chains and then inside the chain two space make three double crochets this is how you're going to work each one of these next four shells so that we have five shells in total one two three four five i'll meet you right about here to show you how we're going to work these six chains under the sleeve okay i finished making these five shells one two three four five now what i'm going to do is into the first chain out of these six one two three four five six i'm going to make a single crochet right here so i have my into this fifth shell i only have my three double crochets so now into this first chain i'm going to make a single crochet now chain two and into this same chain here make three double crochets one two three now skip one chain and into the next this one here make a single crochet chain two and into this same chain make three double crochets one two three now skip one chain and into the next one this one here make a single crochet now chain two and into this same chain make three double crochets now the important thing here under the sleeve is that we have three extra shells one two three perfect now we're going to go to the first shell for the back side which is this one here and into the second double crochet work a front post single crochet two chains and then three double crochets into the chain two space now we're going to work these shells for the back side you should have nine one two three four five six seven eight nine so i'll meet you here to show you again how we're going to work these chains under the sleeve okay i finished making these nine shell stitches for the back side now this is my last shell i need to make my single crochet into the first chain so right there make a single crochet now chain two and into this same chain here make three double crochets one two three skip one chain and into the next right here make a single crochet two chains and then three double crochets one two three skip one chain and into the next one a single crochet and again two chains and into this same chain three double crochets the important thing here under the sleeve is that you have three shells now we have the first shell for the front panel into the second double crochet work a front post single crochet two chains and then three double crochets into this chain two space and continue and finish this front panel i'll meet you here at the end of the second row okay i finished this second row and i have a total of 25 shell stitches now here at the end i made a single crochet now for the third row chain one and turn on top of this first single crochet make a single crochet 
into the second double crochet of this first shall make a front post single crochet two chains and inside the chain two space make three double crochets now continue doing the same thing for each one of the shells for a total love let's see we have one two three four five six i'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next okay i made these six shell stitches one two three four five six and i'm right here under the sleeve now to finish this six shell we're going to go to the single crochet right here not into the next shell but into this single crochet and work a single crochet now chain two and into this same uh, stitch make three double crochets so here we're going to increase two shells that's three now go to the next shell and into the second double crochet work a front post single crochet two chains and then three double crochets into the chain two space now we have the next shell but right here we have the single crochet before that so into that single crochet make a single crochet two chains and then into this same single crochet make three double crochets so here's the second shell that we're going to increase one and two now go to the next shell into the second double crochet make a front bow single crochet two chains and into the chain two space make three double crochets now here you're just going to continue for the back side and work these shells until you come to under the other sleeve so right about here so continue and I'll meet you right here to show you the same thing that we did here on this other side okay I'm right here right under this sleeve I still have six more um, shells left one two three four five six seven actually now these are the three shells that we added one two three so right in the middle between the first and the second and then between the second and the third right here this is where we're going to add one extra shell so here i have my three double crochet so go down into this single crochet and make your single crochet chain two and into this same single crochet make three double crochets Now make a front post single crochet into the next shell into the second double crochet chain two and into the chain two space make three double crochets one two three then right here into this single crochet make a single crochet two chains and then three double crochets one two three and here are the two shells that we're going to increase in this row one and two now jump to the next shell and into the second work a front post single crochet two chains and then three double crochets into the chain two space and so on from here on you're just going to do the same thing continue and finish this third row and i'll meet you at the end of this row i'm here at the end of this third row you should have a total of 29 shell stitches we added two extra shells under each one of the sleeves so that gives us 29 shell stitches for this third row now from here on we're not going to make any more increases we're just going to work these 29 shells so for the fourth row chain one and turn on top of this first single crochet make a single crochet into the first shell into the second double crochet work a front post single crochet two chains and then three double crochets inside the chain two space this is how you're going to continue for this fourth row so continue and i'll meet you here at the end of the fourth row to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this fourth row i have a total of 29 fans now to finish i made a single crochet here at the end from here on this is the row that we're going to repeat for the length of this sweater so to start you off for the fifth row chain one and turn now beginning on top of this first single crochet make a single crochet and into the first shell here into the second double crochet work a front post single crochet two chains and then three double crochets inside the chain two space 
So like I said, from here on, this is all we're going to do. We're not going to increase anything, just work these 29 shells in the same exact way for every row. Now, I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do for the rest of the sweater, but continue watching and I'll let you know exactly how many rows we're going to do. So I'll meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I finished making this part here now. I have a total of 32 rows from the first row where we started to make our pattern stitch up to this last row. There's 32 rows. Now, this part here I had already recorded. I had already done this bottom part. I had already done the edge here around the front panels and then around the neckline, but unfortunately when I was editing my uh, video, this part here was lost. So. With that said, I had to undo everything except for the sleeves. If you notice, I already have sleeves, but it's because of that. So I'm telling you all of this um, because if you notice any sleeves while I'm doing this part, it's because I had to redo this here. So the only part that was missing on my video was the part where um, we do the bottom here and then the rows that we go around. So everything else, just continue watching and sh it should be the same where I showed you how to do the sleeves next. So to do this part here, oh, um, it's measuring from the neckline here down to the last row, it's measuring about 15 inches, which is about 38 centimeters. And like I said, I have 32 rows. So let me count them for you. We have one, two, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32 rows. Okay, so here to do row one, since we're going to change our pattern here, we are going to chain three and turn. Now, what I'm going to do here inside each one of the chain two spaces is three double crochets. One, two, three inside the next one three double crochets and so on this is all we're going to do for this row so continue and i will meet you here at this end okay i'm here at the end of this first row now to finish here at the end we're going to make a double crochet and this is what our first row looks like now what we're going to do for the second row is we're going to chain three and turn now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to work front post and back post double crochets. I don't know, for maybe about three, four rows, I'm not sure. Now, if you prefer, you can also do single crochets on top of each one of these double crochets. I know some people have a hard time uh, doing front post and back post double crochets. So if you prefer, like I said, you can do single crochets, maybe do four or five rows, depending how wide you want this part to be. And that should also work as well. Okay, so here to do front post and back post double crochets, I'm going to start with this first double crochet and make a front post double crochet into the next back post double crochet into the next front post double crochet, back post double crochet, front post double crochet, back post double crochet, and so on. This is all I'm going to do for this second row. I'm just going to alternate between a front post and a back post double crochet all the way to the other side. I will meet you there to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at this other end. Here to finish, we're going to pinch the second chain right here and we're going to make a double crochet. And this is how I finish the second row. Now, I forgot to mention that if you're going to make single crochets here, instead of making three chains, you need to do one chain and then turn and then on top of the last double crochet here, make a single crochet and then continue working single crochets. You don't need to do the three chains here. If you're, that's only for people who are making single crochets instead. Now here for the third row, we're going to chain three and turn. Here we're going to do, I don't know, maybe three or four rows, continue watching and I'll let you know exactly, but we're just going to work these stitches in the same way. This next stitch is a back post double crochet Next one, front post double crochet, back post double crochet, front post double crochet. This is how I'm going to work the next uh, three to four rows. When you finish here, you're just going to go on top of the second chain and make your last double crochet, chain three, and then repeat the same thing. Continue watching. I'll let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. I think maybe three or four, but I'll meet you at the end of that row. 
Okay, I did a total of three rows of front post and back post double crochets. This here is about an inch and a half. If you want to make it wider, you can just continue and add more rows. Just make sure that you finish here on the right side because now what we're going to do, we're going to work half double crochets here along the side. So here to do this, we're going to chain one and here into the last double crochet that I did make your first half double crochet. One half double crochet into the next space one half double crochet into the next and so on now make sure that you do these half double crochets nice and loose like this and that's all i'm going to do you can also use a bigger hook if you prefer to do this but i'm just going to make my half double crochets nice and loose now continue like this and i will meet you i'll meet you here at the top Okay, I finished making these half double crochets along this side. I have a total of 43 half double crochets up to here. Now here in these rows of double crochets for the yoke, I did two on the first row, then I did one, then two, one, then one, and then one. Now, if you have one or two stitches less or more, it's okay, just continue. The important thing here is that you're going to do the same number of stitches that you did here on the other side, that's all. So if it looks okay to you, then just continue with the rest. So now here into this last one, I did one half double crochet. I'm going to do one more because now I'm going to turn here. So here I'm going to also work half double crochets around the neckline. And I'm just going to do one half double crochet for each one of these chain chains that we did here for the first row see like this so continue and I'll meet you at the other end okay I finished making these half double crochets around the neckline here at the end into this last chain I did two half double crochets now we're going to work our way down doing the same thing so into this next row make one into the next make two into the next one into the next two into the next one and from here on you're only going to do one half double crochet so let's see like this so one and then one one and one and so on make sure that you have the same number of stitches as you did on the other side I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, I finished making my last stitch. I have a total of 43 half double crochets. Then I just cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to this other side. This is where we started. And I'm going to, I'm going to bring this loop here to the front like this and chain one. Now, insert your hook into the next stitch space right there and make a slip stitch, chain one. Insert your hook into the next space, slip stitch, chain one. This is all I'm going to do all around, just like this. Now, if you don't want to cut your yarn, then just chain one, turn, and then maybe do front post and back post half double crochets all around, or maybe just do one more row of half double crochets all around. That is all I'm going to do. I'm not going to make any more rows here. I'm just going to continue in the same way. So I will meet you here at this other end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished here at this other end. All I did here was just join to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and then pass my yarn through this last loop. So now I'm just going to hide this end here on the inside. So this part here is done, and that's what it looks like. Now I added these buttons. I only added three. Now the size of these buttons are, let's see, these are half inch or 12 millimeter buttons, and I used these. And I only added three, but if you want to add more, you can. Remember that the buttons go on the left side because the buttonholes go on the right side for girls so here buttonholes we did not do any buttonholes whatsoever here because we only did two rows here on the side so what i did instead is these stitches that we did the half double crochets right in between there's a big gap so i'm using these spaces here as buttonholes which work out perfectly as you can see so 
that's all I did. Now we're going to continue with the sleeve. As you can see, my sweater is done, but I already explained that I lost all of this information where I show you how to do this part. So I had to re-record. So we're going to continue here on this side where I show you how to do the sleeve. Then you're going to do your sleeve and then I'll come back and show you my finished sweater and I'll give you the finished measurements. So I'll meet you back once our sweater is all done. Okay, so we're going to start here on this other side, uh, you're going to do the exact same thing for both sides. So I'm just going to show you here, but you're going to do exactly the same thing. So here, with our yarn and our hook, we're going to find the center here. This is where we have, let's see, right here, right in the center. So just find a spot in the center. To me, I'd say it's about here. So insert your hook here grab a loop and chain three. One, two, three. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a spot between the first pattern stitch and the three chains. So I would say right about here. And I'm going to make so single crochet, two chains, and then three double crochets. One, two, three. Now here's our first stitch for the sleeve. We're going to find the second double crochet and work a front pull single crochet, two chains, and into this chain two space make three double crochets. So, so far I have two pattern stitches, one and two. Now jump to the next front pull single crochet, two chains, and then three double crochets. This is all I'm going to do now for, for the sleeve. So I'm just going to go around and I'm going to meet you right about here at the end of, on this other side to show you how we're going to finish this first row. Okay, I'm here at this other side of the sleeve. I have a total of nine uh, pattern stitches here so far. I'm going to make one more so that we finish with 10. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find a spot between the three chains here and this last uh, pattern stitch that I did. So I'm going to do it right about here. I think that should be fine. So make a single crochet. Let me see the gap. Nope, it's perfect, it's not as big. Two chains and then into this space here, three double crochets. Okay, now you should have 10 pattern stitches all around to finish. We're going to join here to the side. You can pinch the second chain or you can just insert your hook there, which is what I'm going to do and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the first row with 10 uh, pattern stitches all around. Now for the second row, we are going to chain two and turn. So now we have our two chains. So into the second double crochet here, we're going to work a front pull single crochet two chains inside this chain two space you're going to make three double crochets and now here is where we're going to reduce now to finish this stitch we would normally make a front pull single crochet into the second double crochet i'm not going to do that instead i'm going to go into the chain two space here and make a single crochet and then again i'm going to go into the second double crochet of this next stitch right here into the double crochet and work a front pull single crochet and here is where i just reduced one of the fans now chain two here and inside the chain two space make three double crochets and that's how we're going to reduce let me show you again i want to make sure that you get this part because Really, this is the only row that I'm going to reduce. So we have the three double crochets. We have the chain two space of the next fan. Make a single crochet and then into the second double crochet of these three double crochets here. Work a front post single crochet, two chains and then three double crochets inside the chain two space. And that's how we reduce one stitch. And that's all we need to do. Now into the second double crochet, work a front post single crochet, 
two chains, and then three double crochets. From here, you're just going to do the same thing. You're just going to work your pattern stitch until you come to right about here. Here, we're going to reduce this here, so I'll meet you right here to show you how we're going to finish this second row. Okay, I'm here at this other side of the second row. Up to here, I have seven of our pattern stitches. Now we're going to do one more reduction. We're going to reduce this stitch here. So to do our single crochet, I'm not going to go into the second double crochet of these three, but rather I'm going to go inside the chain two space and make a single crochet, and then into the next group of three double crochets, into the second double crochet, I'm going to make my front post single crochet. Now chain two and into this last chain two space, make three double crochets. And now if you count each one of our pattern stitches, you should have eight. To finish, we're going to go here to the side of the two chains and make a slip stitch. And here is the second row with eight pattern stitches. From here on, we're not going to work any reductions or anything. We're going to continue with these eight stitches. So chain two for the third row and turn. Now we have the first three double crochets into the second double crochet, make a front post single crochet, two chains, inside the chain two space, make three double crochets. And then into the next group of three double crochets, into the second double crochet, work a front post single crochet, two chains, and then inside the chain two space, make three double crochets. From here on, this is all you're going to do, so continue all around, and I will meet you at the end of this third row. I'm here at the end of the third row. I have a total of eight of our pattern stitches. Now to finish here to the side where we have the two chains, join with a slip stitch. This is how you're going to finish each one of the rows from here on. And to start each row, you're going to chain two and turn. You're always going to turn and into the second double crochet of these three double crochets, make a front post single crochet two chains and then inside the chain two space make three double crochets. Front post single crochet into the next group of three double crochets, two chains and then three double crochets inside the chain two space. This is how you're going to continue for this fourth row. At the end you're going to finish with eight pattern stitches. Continue and I'll meet you once again here at the end of this row to show you how to finish each row from here on and how to begin each row from here on. I'm here at the end of this fourth row to finish this row and all the rows to follow. You're always going to go here to the side of the two chains and join with a slip stitch. Now chain two, turn for every row and you're going to work a front post single crochet into this second double crochet, two chains and then three double crochets inside the chain two space and then a front post single crochet into the second double crochet, two chains and then three double crochets into the chain two space. At the end of every row from here on you're always going to have eight of our pattern stitches. Here to finish you're just going to join to the side with a slip stitch, chain two, turn and then repeat the same thing. I'm going to do this for about 20 rows, so continue and I'll meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I did a total of 22 rows. I think I had mentioned um, to do 20, but no, we need to do 22 rows. So here I joined to the side with a slip stitch, chain two, and then turn. So I'm here on the right side. So to do this next row, inside each one of the chain two spaces, we are going to make three double crochets. Now, if you want to make your sleeve longer, you can. I'm just um, going to make my sleeve up to the wrist, up to here. So uh, 23 rows plus a couple rows of single crochets uh, will be perfect, but you can make yours longer if you want. So continue around this row, just making three double crochets inside each one of the chain two spaces, and I'll meet you here at the end. 
I'm here at the end. I have a total of eight groups of three double crochets. Now to finish, go here to the side where we have the two chains and join with a slip stitch. Now for the next four rows, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to chain one and on top of the first double crochet of this first group of three double crochets, make a single crochet single crochet on top of the next single crochet on top of the next and so on here we're just going to work single crochets all around when you finish you're going to join to the top of the first single crochet with a slip stitch chain one and then make your first single crochet again into this same stitch then again continue around and make single crochets we're going to do this for a total of four rows this is how it's going to look once it's done. I did four rows here of single crochets and then this last row here in this color white. So continue, do four rows, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making the fourth row single crochet here. All I did was just join to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop. Now what I'm going to do is with this white color into this same single crochet where I did the slip stitch, I'm going to pull this loop through chain one into the next stitch insert your hook and make a slip stitch chain one slip stitch chain one slip stitch chain one and so on this is how i'm going to continue for this last row so continue finish join to the first stitch here with a slip stitch cut your yarn and pass your yarn through that last loop and then i'll come back and show you the finished cardigan Okay, I finished making this last row here at the end. All I did was just join to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn in and pass my yarn through that last loop and the sleeve is done and that's what it looks like. Now you're going to do the exact same thing I did here on this side. You're going to do it here on this other side. I did it in the exact same way, nothing changes. You're just going to follow the same instructions as you did here. Now, let me give you the finished measurements. From the top of the neckline down to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 44 centimeters, which is about 17.25 inches. From under the sleeve up to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring nine inches, which is about 23 centimeters. Now this part here, right across, I'm not sure what this is called. If anybody knows, let me know. It's this part here across. Many of you asked me about that measurement. So right across here, it's measuring about, let's see, seven inches, which is about 18 centimeters around the chest area, this part here. It's measuring about 26 inches, which is about 66 centimeters. And from the top of the neckline down to the end here, it's measuring about 19 inches, which is about 48.5 centimeters. So based on these measurements, this little jacket here is for little girls between four and five years old. Now you can also make it smaller or bigger from two to three years old up to about eight years old. Down here in the information box, I'll leave you some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.